in both fields like computer science and biology we have um, constraints. The cross of those constraints is hard to, to handle because we both want to secure and to, to make it um, to, yeah, to, to be make it sure safe. to get what you want. Yeah. To get to a point that you are expecting to get. Finally, by both trying to push our constraint on one side and the other, it um, increased the quality of uh, the process and the final results. So it's really a good thing about this uh, collaboration. One constraint that we have in computer science is the amount of data we are um, uh, capturing. One day of field here produce uh, 400 gigabytes of data that we need to process afterwards. So we need to find a good um, compromise between the number of replication we make and the equipment we have for those um, experiments. Yeah. Except when they go behind this black zone. Mm -hmm. I don't know what will happen. I hope. When they go around the stick, the wooden stick, you lose them. No? Here's depth map. technical point of view here we are recording the, the, the video at the rate of something like 50 frames per second which yeah. is quite high and we record both the grayscale image and the depth image and the depth image takes even more space than the gray one are you recording both yeah You're not just recording one no no both of wow. them so this is why it takes so much space mm -hmm. And we need a source. We cannot process uh, the I mean, compute the tracks in real time because we need the source to to then um, tune the algorithm of tracking. Because I could run some classic trackers just in real time, but the result would be like average. But what we need is more than average. So we store the source, and then we're gonna process all the image offline. And it will take probably days for, of computing, but it's necessary for improving the results.